I said. Great, fantastic. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Again, also from my side. So, yeah, this is really exciting because this is about yeah, demoing one of our recent feature or capability developments. And it's all about campaigns, as you see here. It's a simpler way to manage campaigns. And before we go into the live demo, let me motivate a bit why we are doing this, actually. And yeah, the fundamentals we've seen, we've heard about before, and you all know it, yeah, that our customers are obviously the consumers. So your customers are obviously get becoming more and more demanding. There's all the different formats and channels and geographies and personalizations and whatever, languages. So there's a lot of complexity out there kind of for all of us here to manage this so that all of our consumers um, are happy and we meet their expectations. So what we as Comedia then, of course, have to do is to enable you with the right tools to really yeah, become more efficient and more effective and be able to, to tame the complexity. So in the end, I guess you all know the challenge that you need to do more with the same team, create it more quick, uh, quicker, um, be more agile, experiment, test, try things out. And in the end, always, of course, the question is not only does it look nice, it's also like, how does it compare to the KPIs that I have about the outcome? So what is the outcome and how can you connect um, content to the outcomes? And that is obviously where the word campaign is becoming more and more uh, important. Yeah? Campaigns are everywhere. And it's also, of course, important for you to be able to yeah, have the right tools, as I said, to flawlessly execute campaigns. Now, what do we mean by campaigns? There's obviously a lot of campaigns, and we saw the wide range of customers that we, that we have. So a few examples. Yeah? There's product line or product launch campaigns. So this is if you are a B2C retailer, you want to promote your products. If you are a B2B manufacturer like G. Murray, you also want to talk about new, new product lines and promote this and give information. If you are a customer like Finnair, we've heard about this earlier on, you might want to have a loyalty campaign, yeah? become a loyal customer. Generally, if, you, if customer relationships are important, then yeah, creating a loyalty campaign is, of course, an important thing. Or if you launch a new brand, for example, or if you want to talk about the values of your brand or whatever it is, you might want to create a brand awareness campaign. Or finally, you might have a lead generation campaign if you are, I don't know, an insurance company and you want to generate more leads, um, that's then also important. So, a bunch of different campaigns, obviously. The fundamental core in this is, of course, that well, you need content. Yeah? You need to distribute content and you need to schedule content. And as I said, I want to show you some live demos. So the example I've prepared today is our Red Look campaign, which is obviously an example of a fashion campaign. And what is typical for a campaign? Well, you have a bunch of creative assets, creative banners you see here that you create. You might have videos in here, so this is an example at the bottom that you see, which we call like a shoppable video. And you also might have seen that there's, I can do this with a mouse here. Um, yeah, you have clickable images, so clickable banners, shoppable banners, and you might have entire landing pages where you talk about it. So if you have all the different assets that you create. And that is the first part, of course, of the campaign. And that's what I'm going to show you, how we yeah, schedule this, how we roll this out, how we distribute it. But again, before I do this, let me talk about some challenges and also the reason why um, we as Comedia um, yeah, have invested into that. I mean, you could, have, you could set up campaigns already with Comedia, obviously. Yeah? There's nothing new. You could do it uh, right now. Um, but we wanted to optimize it because we know there's high pressure to be more agile, to create more, to do things faster. So what are the typical challenges then with uh, campaigns? Campaign challenge one is, of course, a campaign is not just a banner. A campaign is something that spans an entire experience or across the entire site. So you see here three examples, different page types, like a home page, a category page, a product detail page. And um, maybe a campaign, as our red um, uh, color campaign here, red look campaign, you, might, you typically have different slots within the entire experience. So you might have one slot here on top of the home page. You might, on the category page, say, hey, this is a typical slot where we promote um, yeah, parts of our campaign at, at the top of the category page, or maybe at the sidebar. And if we talk about a product detail page, then maybe you want to promote something regularly at the bottom. So you need to have a very simple tool to use to yeah, assign content, the creatives that you've created, um, to these different slots throughout the site. So that is the campaign challenge number one. Campaign challenge number two is, of course, the thing taking into account that you want to act faster and faster. So you want to typically have, and that's what we hear from, from the market, have different campaign templates that you can reuse very quickly. You don't want to start from scratch again and again. You want to just reuse and build stuff on what you have done before. So it's about creating reusable templates saying, 
no matter what comes into those slots, there is this concept of slots. I open them once, and then I can very easily assign content to these different slots. So again, you hear the word slot for me again and again. You will see this in the demo as well. Campaign Challenge 3, very obvious, you want to schedule it. Yeah? You want to have different home pages for your different campaign flavors on different dates, yeah? like October 10th and 11th and 12th. Or maybe you want to have the home page changing every minute. Yeah? You all know we can do this with Core Media. That's something where we excel. So you want to have a very simple um, scheduling and also want to have an overview, like a campaign calendar, to see what campaigns are running currently, what's the, the concurrency of the... Uh, of the campaigns, what's the priority, and all that sort of things. That's what, what you want to manage. Then Campaign Challenge 4, obviously, global rollout. We've heard about that. Every, well, more or less every customer is becoming more and more international, or if you're only in one country, you still have to serve different languages. So the ability to easily roll out campaigns across markets in multiple countries or languages is also very important. Campaign Challenge number five, obviously, Omnichannel planning, omnichannel delivery. Yeah? You don't want to just serve the web channels, you, channel, you want to repurpose all the creatives that you have done on various channels, yeah? be it the website, be it your store, be it the app, be it maybe in-store displays. Um, so everything's possible. And of course, here our headless delivery capabilities, content as a service, comes into play. And the final and maybe most fundamental challenge that you all know, number six, is time and resources. Yeah? You don't have the right, well, your team cannot be wide enough and large enough and you always need more time and there's always something coming. Can you launch this campaign tomorrow or can we launch it yesterday or right now because something is going on in social media that we want to react to. So six challenges and this really brought us to, um, yeah, create something and this is where I'm now happy, it's a world premiere <laughs> more or less, <laughs> to introduce the Comedia campaign app and here's the first glimpse on the slide but obviously we want to show it to you in live software. So I come back to our Red Look campaign challenge. And that being said, I jump into Studio. Fantastic, here we go. So Comedia Studio, you know all that. So in the center of the experience, we have the preview. And this example um, really shows the headless integration scenario. Yeah? So we have in the center of the preview, in our example, the Comedia demo, uh, React app, the Spark app, where you see yeah, the experience here. And obviously, there's no red color on it yet. Yeah? That's something that I'm going to set up. But what you see is we have, obviously, the home page. Then we can maybe jump quickly to the women's category page. So you see it lists all the different products and the filters. But there's no banner on top. There's nothing here in the sidebar. So this is what you see here. And if we go further down to a product detail page, we see all the product pictures. But we don't see anything below here. And this is obviously something we have set up as um, as slots here in our campaign manager app. Great, so this was the website, and we have also created all the different um, um, creatives already. And how we, do, how we launch now this, this, this project? So something that we introduced here is a capability that we have in the product for a long time now. I'm not, sh not sure if everyone knows it. It's called the project. So a project is something where you can collaboratively work together in a team within Studio to create your, um, yeah, your, your creatives, your visuals, your content generally. And if we take a look into a project, you see that here what it's all about. So it's something, again, you can work collaboratively, you have your project defined here, you have a team maybe of people working together, so Peter, Pierre, Sophia, and myself, obviously. We have created all the um, different content elements where we can take a quick look, for example. So we see here, if I open that one quickly, we see this is an image map, so this is a banner with a call to action, but it also has a hot zone here, so I can explore this product even more. So that's one of the visuals that we have created as part of our campaign. Um, then we also have created, what's next, this look here in our example. So we have a nice little look, which I can open, which I have prepared. It tells us more about this product line and all the different products in here. And finally, moving image is an important thing. We have also as part of our campaign, we have created a little video. So you see this video coming up here. It has some text on it. So those are all our creatives that we have created for our campaign and that are part of our, um, of our project here. In our project, we can also manage the to-dos between the different people. So you see here some of the to-dos have been done already, like Peter has created the videos, Sophia has created the banners, and now it's on me to actually schedule the campaign. It's hard to read, but it's... Uh, saying that that's now me to create the campaign. How do we do that? I mean, some of you have spotted it maybe already. Here on the right-hand side, I have a very simple button to create a campaign. 
And if I do this, then I'm coming to the Comedia campaign app, which should load now. There we go. Yeah, no worries. Here we go. So I just didn't prepare it. So here we go. This is now the Comedia campaign app. This is the calendar view of the campaign. And you see, well, I have obviously the timeline here. There are some campaigns already running or ended already, like the end uh, of summer campaign. And I can see if I move to the right-hand side, there's a new campaign coming up as well. And I'm here now in the center, obviously, um, of, the, of the campaign and um, or of the campaign app. And actually what I want to do is I simply want to start a new campaign. And now we have a very simple dialogue, and that's what you hopefully see, that it's fundamentally, if you will, different from the studio, the content app that we know so far. It's very simple. It's a very dedicated UI for business users, for, for marketing managers to create the campaign. So I have a little dialogue here that allows me to select the type of campaign. Yeah? It can be, as I introduced, a product launch campaign, a loyalty campaign, whatever. In our example, I want to choose the, um, the product launch campaign. And yeah, I pick this template where I have all the different page types already pre-configured. Take that um, as a template. Then I only have to select that I want to link this to our Red Look campaign project. I can select my site if I haven't predefined it already. And then I choose my main locale. So I start with the US English project. And then I'm here with the scheduling. So next thing is obviously, what is the campaign date? So it can start today and maybe leave it like this. And then I say maybe it should run until next week, Friday. And then I simply hit create. And then we're here in another very simple to use dialogue. So we see now that this is depending on the template I've set up. We see now three tiles here for the different page types. So I can obviously put some content on the home page. I can put something on the category page and also on the product, on the product page. And again, I talked about simplicity and it is super simple. So to do it, I click on this empty box. There's no slot assigned yet. Then I have the ability to assign a slot here on the home page. And then I get the choice to select the content um, that I've prepared in my project. So maybe I want to set the video uh, into the slot for my home page. And that was all I needed to do. And then I go to my category page, where I have two slots defined in our example. And maybe I want to put the image map here on top in, on the hero slot. And then on the sidebar, I might want to put, which one was it? Maybe the look here on the left-hand side, and I save this one. Super simple, isn't it? So those two slots are now assigned. And then finally, we do the same on the product page. Very simple, have another slot here, and maybe that's where I want to link this one here, the story, the beauty of red. So this is something I want to promote. So very simple again to, to do this. Everything else is more or less set already, um, so I can go back to my campaign calendar view. Let me see, this is now my Red Look campaign, um, which is here. I can see the details. See, it's currently in draft mode. And the only thing to yeah, put it into action is, you see this little play button here at the top right. Hit the play button, which starts the campaign immediately. And that's it. So I could very easily drag and drop components or assign components, content components to slots. And that's all I needed to do as a campaign manager. When I now go back into the studio and take a look at the preview and reload the content then here, or the the experience here, then what we will see is ta -da -da -da, we now have the um, video here on top of the home page. And with our little slot inspector here on top, you can also see that this is the part below, the blue part. This is something I've created in Comedia Studio, kind of as a static content, let's say, or dynamic content, but a direct manual assignment. And the slots on top are added on this dynamically based on what I've set on the campaign app. So very simple, and then I can test the experience and say, well, how does it look like on my category page, for example? And here again, we see now on top of the experience, maybe I want to zoom in a little bit, or zoom out rather, you see that on top in the hero slot, I now have my, my image map, my clickable image map, and here on the left-hand side, I have my look. And finally, if I go to the product detail page, then we see that below here, Again, let's ask our little slot inspector. You see at least it's red. I guess it's hard to see there, but you see here that this now is a slot coming from the campaign app. So the thing is, it's super simple to assign it and then also to augment it and to refine it. So this was the first step. I'm working now still in the, in the US side. And um, it was just the first, let's say, default assignment. But I can do more. So one thing that you might notice, for example, currently it is set to appear, the, the red color campaign, in all the different um, category pages, for example. So now I clicked on the man's category page and you see the same content is, is here as well. 
maybe that's nothing that I want. Yeah? Maybe I want to restrict it uh, further. And that's actually what I can, of course, do. So let's do that. Go back to the campaign app. And here in the category pa page, you might have spotted this little tag here, which says all at the, at, at the moment. And this means this applies now to all the category page pages. But I can, of course, refine it. So if I add a refinement here and I say this should only apply to the women category page, you enter that one here, you save it, then you see this one um, is, is shown here already. And then guess what? If I reload everything, then on the men's category page, we should not see any content any longer. Uh, I'm now at the home page, but let's go back to the men's page and you see now it's gone here. So again, the thing is you have a very simple tool to use, the campaign manager, where you can do refinements. We can also do refinements on product pages, for example, if you just want to roll the campaign out for, for specific uh, uh, products, for example, then you can do that refinement as well. Good, but still we had other challenges. The other challenge was, of course, the uh, globalization challenge, the rollout. And that, again, is a very simple uh, challenge now with the Comedia campaign app. Because here I can take into account any kind of campaign that I have created before and use this as a template for other markets or other countries. How do we do this? So on top here you see this is currently the US English site. And if I want to create a new localization, again, very simple, I can't over, uh, how would you say, uh, reiterate again and again. Very simple, just select the, the locale. In our demo we have these four locales. So say I want to roll out something for France, for example. I select France here as the locale, say it creates the um, localization. And then something interesting happens. Um, so remember I talked that the, about the creatives being created already. So if the creatives are there and the creatives have been translated, then here in the campaign app as a campaign manager, I don't have to care about it any longer. The content is there already, it is translated, it is all or approved and published. So I can rely on Comedia finding the right local locale, obviously, for my, in this case, French campaign. So, yeah, it says it has done all the changes, and then I can take a look at the French um, setup. So you see the same setup has been copied from a template before. Then I can, of course, do some local changes for my French uh, campaign. So I could go in here and say maybe this should, I don't know, last a week longer. So simply extend the length here. Or maybe I want to get rid of the refinement here for women if I want to. So save this one here so that it's for the French side shown on all the different um, category pages. And as we are there, let's also create another one. Let's do this quickly for Italy. So let's create an Italian localization from this one here as well. Again, I can have a little check. Maybe I want to stick to the dates that I've set. And basically that's all I need to do. To get the overview again, remember, I can always go back to the, um, to the uh, campaign calendar. And you see here one thing, you see different colors. And that's maybe what you also have noticed here at the top right, uh, the bottom right, I'm sorry. There's different statuses, so in editing, draft mode, active, and whatnot. And I can, of course, drill into the details and see at the moment I've only started the US English campaign, but I didn't start the French and the Italian campaign. So let's do this quickly. Go back into the French campaign, hit play, and that's all I need to do. And then I go back to the Italian campaign and do the same and launch this one as well. So you get hopefully the flexibility that it can create exceptions for different markets. And that's all I need to do. Now let's go back to the, to the website. Maybe we start at the home page. So here we are currently, it's a bit hard to see, but it's the US English side. And then I can switch the countries. So I can go, and remember this is obviously English, <laughs> the red look. And then if I go to the Italian side, I enter the Italian um, yeah, website, web experience, and then you see, again, it's my video here, but this time it's now the Italian translation that is used automatically, obviously. And then I could go to the, to the uh, female category page, for example, the Donne, and this one is then loaded as well. I should have reloaded it. First time for the demo, but in a second we should see it. Come on. Here we go. So this is now obviously all the Italian, all the products in the Italian version. And again, yeah, we have the same image map, but it is using the translated version and the same here also for the sidebar banner. And finally, we also might want to switch to France to also prove that this is working also in French as well. Again, this is just a test. Typically, I didn't have to do it because my job as a campaign manager is only to set up all the different campaigns, to schedule them. But here we go. This is obviously then the video uh, for the French side. 
So, yeah, super simple in the end. Um, let's go back here. Maybe one word also to, um, let's say, the overview here. You might have a bunch of campaigns obviously running in parallels, uh, uh, parallel, and you also might have overlapping campaigns. So the question is, how do we deal, deal with that one? And again, for this one, we also have a, have a solution. You might have spotted it here already in the, in the UI. So we have the ability to set prior priorities. Very simple concept, just click on this one and say, my campaign right now should have the highest priority. I don't care about if there's anything left from what I've done before. This should be my highest priority, and that's, that's, it. that's it. So again, you hopefully see how simple that is from a user perspective. Then obviously all the campaigns do have unique IDs, so you can also embed it into your analytics tracking so that you really see yeah, what is resonating best, what campaigns are running, so that you yeah, really measure, measure the outcome there as well. Good, and I think that was basically most of the stuff, no, all of the stuff that I wanted to show you, but um, final summary, and again, you hopefully saw the difference. This is an ultra-fast campaign management. This is really optimized for high-performance campaigns. Remember, the world is becoming more and more complex. You want to do much more to have tailored experience for the different audiences that you're serving to. So this is very simple and intuitive. It is really a task-driven UI, so it, um, uh, it follows the concept that we have to, what we call it, Appify Comedia Studio, to have it more as a, uh, have additional a um, apps that are there for dedicated tasks. So with Comedia 11, you know that we have launched the workflow app as a dedicated user interface, which made it much easier to handle all the different workflows. Now we are introducing the campaign app, which is another good example, and we will follow this, this track along. It is integrated with our um, headless delivery, um, so this is now um, focused also on the headless delivery. Why? Because obviously we want to serve the omni-channel world. And the fourth point is very interesting, um, particularly, I guess, for the technical users, but also for the business people. So this is not just using the same technology. This under the hood is a completely new technology. This is a SaaS service, software as a service, a cloud-native SaaS service, where we as Comedia will also develop yeah, obviously additional features and functions, and these will be launched, as you could imagine it, from a, or expect it from a SaaS service, um, continuously. So it's Comedia service that we um, make available to you, um, and we will further develop it, and new features are then continuously released without you having to do anything. You can just benefit from us providing more and more features and functions. And um, yeah, this will all be available for chartered customers now in October 2022. The general availability GA is in Q1 2023. And um, I hope you like it. 